Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to another edition of Direwolf 20's Pack. I don't feel like I should be saying something else with that. Usually there's a map. Anyways, uh, so we're, we have got set up here a little bit. As you can see, there's my mine. Oh, I guess I did put those on. There we go. Uh, there's our mine down there. Uh, and this is what we got work going on so far. So, I have decided to go, to go ahead and make some grout, which of course makes us uh, some seared bricks. Uh, which will allow us to make a Tinker's Construct. Um, oops, I'm going to say it. Uh, Tinker's Construct um, Smelter, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Oh, you can make them different colors now. Cool. Um, so we're making these guys right here. So what we need is, let me take this, and I'll probably need the rest of that anyways. Let's get that. And so what we need is a few things. We need... Uh, let me think here. Bricks. Uh, so we're going to need more than six. Now apparently in this pack you can make it smaller than it was before. Um, so you can do something like... Uh, I guess I could do it right here actually. Also, I have a ruby axe. Uh, which I believe is the same as an iron pickaxe, I believe. I think that's how it works. Uh, the only difference is the fact that it, it has more durability. Uh, so if you look, durability is at 512 versus, I don't have a iron pickaxe. I just happened to find more rubies initially. So rubies, sapphires, and pear dots. I'm not sure about malachite. But anyways, you can make these, all three of those, into like any of your typical items. So, all right, let's dig this into the ground right here. This will be a good spot for it. So I believe you can do two by two. So I need two, I need a few more. That's what I suspected. So I need two there, two there, and two there. So let's dig out this little section here. Uh, so there's a couple basic things you, of course, you need for the Tinker's Contract to work, the actual smelter to work properly. You need uh, a smeltery controller. You also need a smeltery drain. And you need a, where is it here? Sear tank, which is a piece of glass around some bricks. So we need some more bricks. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so let's grab this. So we need a tank like so. We need a smelter controller, so let's grab that. And we'll put that right here. Let's open this up a bit more. Keep forgetting how dark it is out there. It's funny, I've been watching Direwolf 20's pack, uh, Direwolf 20's videos on um, this pack, of course. And uh, the little mini Endermites scare me. Uh, I haven't seen any yet, thankfully, but... Uh, they they scare me quite a bit just because they are, you know, one of those things you don't see very often. All right, what else do we need? We need a smeltery drain. So we need six bricks. Do we have six bricks now? Yes, we do. Excellent. So there we go. Smeltery drain. We also need a. Uh, well, we need two. we need also a spout. I forget what it's called now. A uh, little spigot. Well, it's not a spigot, but it's basically like a spigot. Uh, this guy right here, the faucet, uh, which is only three. Oh, I guess we do have enough. All right, so we need that to go with the smeltery drain. Uh, so this is going to be in our way again. There we go. So let's put the smeltery drain right here. And then you put the seared faucet on the end, like so. And I also need a seared tank. I need eight and I need one glass for. So let's go ahead and make ourselves another furnace because apparently we can only do so much at once with one furnace. Uh, that's a good spot for it. And we need one glass. And where's my charcoal work? So we need one glass and then we need eight bricks. So I need two more. I went ahead and made a grindery, a grindery, a grindstone uh, to make flour. Uh, but it turns out in this pack, you actually can all you need to do is put wheat into your or take wheat and put it into your crafting table, and it'll, it'll get um, flour. And then all you need to do is bake that, and that's it. You don't even need the grindstone in this version. I thought, I thought it was kind of funny. All right, do we have eight? Yes, excellent. All right, so this is our seared faucet or seared tank, sorry. And let's put this right here because it's gonna be nice place for it and so we need a few more bricks still uh, one two three three bricks it looks like uh, 
Uh, do we have enough for this? Not yet. So the other thing we're going to need, of course, is some uh, an iron bucket. One, two, three. An iron a bucket, of course, to make. Oops, don't want to smelt the book. I want to smelt the iron. I uh, need to make a need to make a bucket so we can put some lava in there. And I think there's some lava laying around. If I go down. I can find some lava. I did quite a bit of mining actually off screen. I didn't realize how much I did. I was just messing around, but I ended up getting quite a, a good little chunk of s stuff uh, piled up. So I was uh, delightfully surprised by that actually. There's some f four more. Let's take that and we'll put that one in the back corner. So we need two more. So we need eight more bricks. So, of course. So we're going to make an iron bucket. Let's go see what, uh, what can we make to carry some lava in. Uh, what do we have here? Tank. What kind of tanks do we have available to us? Uh, we could make this open blocks tank. Well, unfortunately, that needs obsidian. I don't have any obsidian. Uh, we could make... Wow, there, that's all. I thought that we had, there was another tank you could make. Fluid tank. I don't know how that works. A uh, portable fluid tank can be used to empty, fill fluid containers. And that requires a lot of iron. Wow. And some glass. And what about uh, the portable tank, which is glass, 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 and copper? I think that would be easier to do. All right. One, three glass and a copper ingot. Where's my copper? There it is. Let's grab one of that. Uh, what we're going to try and do is going to try and build a ore doubling system. Uh, so there's a couple different ways we can go about it. We can make a pulverizer. That's one way you can go about it. Uh, you can also go with a sag mill. Uh, that will also double it. Uh, there's also the uh, lacerator from factory factorization, uh, which is a... Maybe I spelled lacerator wrong. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, well, anyways, there's one was one you can get from factorization as well that uh, will do the same thing. And let's put our one copper in there. Uh, that'll do the same thing. It's just a bit more cumbersome. So those those are I guess those are the big options. Of course, you can use Tinker's Construct to do it too. Um, it's not my my uh, cup of tea because that means I have to find a huge amount of lava. I suppose uh, it would it will work early game though. So. Uh, we also need a casting table as well. So let's go at one, two. Now, if this is working properly, we should see. There you go. So that's uh, this is a new design. Apparently, this was released just in this version of the Tinker's Construct Pack. You can make little small ones. Thank you, Direwolf. Uh, I didn't realize you could do that, but usually you have to make it five by five. But that's a nice little small size. Also, because of that, it is very small. You can only put four things in there at a time. Uh, are there those? Yes, that's done. Uh, let's just make some more glass while we're at it. All right, so the other thing we needed to make was... Uh, where am I here? A tank. How much do we need for a tank? Where is it? Portable tank. It was four pieces, so one, two, three... Four, and we need one copper. It looked like. So let's see if this works properly. Perfect. That's awesome. All right, and we need our bucket. There we go. And so let me just unload what I have in my inventory here, because I don't need all of this. Uh, we need the axe and the hoe, and the seeds that can go there too. And we have a little bit of food on us. Let's keep that. Perfect. Let's go see if we can find some lava while we're at it. So this is the mine I made uh, off camera. So there is some lava over there, but I believe that's like right down the bottom. And there's a lava... Oh, there's lava right here, but that's only one. Well, might as well get it. It'll be safer if I get it. Alright, so let's... Oh, this also means we need a... I don't know. I think this will mean... We also need a hammer, a crescent hammer now, because... If I want to pick this up without breaking all the stuff out of it, we're going to lose all the contents inside of it, which is not what we want. So, let's see. To make a crescent hammer, uh, we need three iron and one tin. All right, so three iron, one, two, three, and one tin. There we go. Perfect. Let's get that started. 
and let's grab some more coal just in case. And 110, we'll do that on this side over here. There we go, perfect. So this will allow us to drop down and pick up our tank without losing the contents inside of it. So we can actually put this in there just like that now. Uh, it holds four buckets at once, which is good. So now we can actually make some stuff from it, which is excellent. Uh, let's see if we can't find a bit more lava while we're at it, though. There we go. And let's just put some sand back in there. Because we're going to need a lot of glass eventually, and it's better to use it up rather than waste it, I suppose. All right. Let's go ahead and make the crescent hammer. Oops. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's go see if we can find some more lava down here. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> I don't want to spend too long trying to find lava. There's a big lava lake somewhere over in that direction. But, all right. I don't see any lava here. Let's see if we can find some on the other side over here. It looks like, is there any lava over here? It's like I'm going away from the lava every single time. I don't see anything. All right, let's go this way then. Because somewhere in that direction there is lava, so let's just give that a go. Uh, do we have our... Yes, we do. Good. Nope, it's not the right direction either. Where the heck is that lava then? It must be underneath. Hmm. Or behind there even. Let's go further down. I think there's some stuff further down here too. Is there any lava over here? I want to say there is. I found a, strangely enough, I actually found a whole, oh, here's some more. Uh, I found a whole mine system, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I was really surprised that I actually found that. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I found a whole big gorge here. Pretty impressive. And I also found a mine system um, as we go further down, which really surprised me as well. This opens up in the same area, I believe. Yes. And there's some more. So as you can see, I've explored a little bit of here. It was just it was just fluke that I ended up finding it. Let's do that. And that. Grab our crescent hammer. There we go. Keeps us safe, really. I think there's some more lava around here. So as you can see, I've been around here. Oh, there it is. I've been around here a little bit. That's the reason, of course, why there are torches everywhere. But it has allowed us to... Actually, that's one of the reasons why I was able to get so many materials was because I found this system right here. Oh, there's a little bit of shiny ore. I don't think I'll need it right at this exact moment, the shiny ore. But uh, oops, let's put a torch down. It's getting all dark here now. Um, I don't think I'll need the shiny ore, but as you can see, there's lots of stuff here. Because of the way the system is set up, or this rock hive there, uh, because of the way it's set up, it just it is wide open, and there's... What am I... Oh. Uh, there is stuff all over the place for me to look at and pick up some stuff. So, And there's the mine system down there. Anyways, uh, I guess we could pick these up while we're here. I don't really need them yet, but later on. All right, so that's, that's enough. Uh, for now, I'll get some more later, I'm sure. I can't get that right now, anyways. Yeah. Sweet. All right, let's head back. So, there's a space up there I haven't explored, apparently. But we have a little bit of uh, lava now. This allows us to make some more items. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a... Huh. That's interesting. That is... No, it's not the exit. Well, then take that off of there, then. Um, what I'd like to do is eventually make some sort of um, steel item. I don't know why, but I really like steel. Um, <clears throat> I know Direwolf went for Alamite, which uh, requires obsidian, and I didn't feel like going that route. Uh, in this game, strangely enough, uh, you can make refined iron, which is basically the same as steel, which is kind of funny. So, oh, apparently I didn't put a block back there. Uh, you can make refined iron, which is the same as steel in this game, which is interesting because you never would have thought that. 
So uh, the way they've made iron steel or iron steel refined iron is uh, let's see. Here we go. So you can make it a couple different ways. You can make it in a blast furnace. Uh, we don't have that option, of course. That's uh, IC2 blast furnace, I believe. Uh, you can also make it in an induction smelter, like so. And I thought there's one other way you could make it. I think, let's just see here for a second. I think you can, let's make, let's grab one iron. I think you can do it this way too. Let's just see. I'm pretty. I thought you could, but maybe you can't in this version. But uh, we can go the induction smelter route. That's always an option. And the casting table, uh, which requires molten steel, of course. I thought you could. Uh, they must have changed it on me. Anyways, we can actually make this fairly easily. Uh, so having said that, uh, I don't. The only problem is we can't mix it in here, which is kind of the annoying part, um, because. You can't put charcoal in a smelter. I don't think you can, at least. No. So you can put it in, but it won't heat up or anything like that. So you can do that, but it's not very helpful. I thought you could do this to make refined iron, too. That would be too easy. Yeah, that would be too easy. All right, so what we need to do is we need to make a little bit of refined iron. So how are we going to do that? Uh, blast furnace is out of the question for sure. We do not have that type of system set up yet. Induction smelter, always an easy option. Um, and that's really it. So let's go ahead and see what is involved in making an induction smelter. Uh, but first, let's think about a bit power. So there's a couple different, uh, couple different ways we can generate power right off the bat. Uh, we can go for some of these survivalist generators right here, which are fairly easy to make. Require some pistons, some wood, some cobblestone. That's one option. Um, another option is I think you can go for a Sterling engine. So that's from BC Engine from Billcraft. You can go that route as well. Or you can go the Sterling engine from Ender.io. Haven't really tried that one. There's a Sterling engine. They're, they're all three of them are Sterling. No, these are generators. So this one burns solid fuel to generate power, can be upgraded to increase fuel output. I think the problem with this is that I, I believe I would need to sticks. I believe I would need to actually have a pipe to transport the uh, uh, to transport the oh my goodness the power there we go so let's go ahead and go this route right here uh, piston so we need some wood all right let's grab some wood I'm gonna need to go outside and oh I have lots of wood there whoops all right so we need a piston which is like this we don't have any redstone do we Huh, that's funny. We haven't found any redstone yet. All right, I guess we can't make that as of yet. So we have a couple of other options, I guess, in order to do this. Um, I found diamonds in a in a chest, but I haven't found redstone. Go figure. That is funny. Jeez, look how much lapis lazuli I found. I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. Wow, I really haven't found any redstone. That's kind of funny. Normally, that's one of the things you find a lot of, but I guess not this time around. Yeah, wow. That is surprising, actually. Let's do that and that and that. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Let's make some Tinker's Tools then. Uh, I guess we can't make steel right off the bat. All right, so what can we make? We need a tool station uh, right here, which is one of these in a blank pattern. So I have a couple of these laying around. So we need some sticks uh, because we need to do this, I believe. Yes. Oh, it actually makes four now. I don't believe it used to make four. I think it was only one before. So we need that and that, which will make us a tool station. And that will allow us to choose what tools we want. Oh, let's put this one back in here. Oh, what's this? Ah yes, I totally forgot about this. <laughs> That's funny. This just goes outside. Okay. And there's some gold there. I totally forgot about that. That's hilarious. Alright, <laughs> let's put this back. And let's go back this way then. 
There we go. That's better. So let's put our tool station down. This allows us to choose what tools we want to make. Uh, we're also going to need a, a tool forge. We don't can't do that yet. We also need a, a <coughs> excuse me. Now uh, we have parts builder, which will allow us to make some parts, which is blank powder and a piece of wood. And of course, I used all my pieces of wood up. Yeah, go figure. All right, let's go get some wood outside. Is it dark out there? No. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a tree right there. Perfect. It must have been a tree I planted before, which is why it's there now. All right, so we'll get some wood, and then we will go from there. So one of the funny things about this little map in the top right-hand corner, I realize, is that it actually shows mobs and whatnot. So if you look carefully, uh, you'll be able to see there's a horse right there, and there are some horses down there, and there's also a pig on my screen. I didn't realize that it did that, but as I was looking around, I was like, oh, look at that. I can see like the mobs that are on the screen, which is kind of crazy. There we go, parts builder. So let's put the parts builder right there. So this allow us to build parts. And the last piece of the puzzle, of course, is... Totally forget now. It's not a casting table. Maybe it's a tool station. I don't think it's called a tool station. Pattern. I think it's a pattern something. Not a pattern chest. Oh my goodness, what is it? What is it called? Tool station we have. Stencil table. There we go. Which is a blank pattern again. And one of these. And then we need a stencil table. Perfect. So now we have everything we need. So we put these blank patterns in here. So if we want to make a, a item, we can do so now. So what do we want to make first? Of course, pickaxe is always a good option. Uh, which means we also need a tool binding, I believe, and a tool rod. Perfect. And that will allow us to make stuff out of it. So for technically, right now, we could go ahead and make a uh, tool rod out of cobble, Oops. Uh, which has a crummy handle modifier, but you can go ahead and do it that way. Uh, I believe you can also do the same thing with this which will make a, tool, a stone tool binding, and then I can make an iron pickaxe head. Now, the way I have to do that, of course, is I need to put a little bit of stone, and then I need to make the negative, is what I would call it. I also need a casting table now. Apparently, that's the one thing I didn't make. Casting table, and I bet I need, yeah, lots of bricks I didn't make. Yeah, of course. Where's my grout? Uh, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do ten. Heck, let's just do all of it because I'm sure I'm going to use more. Make a bigger one eventually. All right. So what we can do now is, in order to make a pickaxe like so, we need. We could actually make a stone pickaxe right now, just to give you an idea, and that would be stone bound. Uh, mining speed it reminds iron. I could put stuff on it. We don't want that. We want a bit better a bit better pickaxe head on it. And right now, can I mix anything? Uh, can I make an Electrum, maybe? Or Invar? What is Invar considered? Uh, what do you need to make Invar? Silver and gold, I think, isn't it? Uh, iron and Ferris. Ooh, I could actually do that pretty easily. Uh, let's look at our materials and you and see. I don't think this one is the right one I'm looking for. Oh, no, it is actually. Does it show Invar? Cobalt, Manilum, Steel. This is, what I want. this is what I want there. Pig Iron. No, it doesn't show Invar here. I'm pretty sure you can make Invar stuff. Let's just double check here. Oh, maybe they don't put it in Tinker's Contract. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> we have enough now. Good. There we go. Oops. I did the wrong way around. Ha, ha, ha. We're going to need one of those eventually, so I'm not that worried about it, but that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted the other things. So the casting basin, of course, will make bricks, or not bricks, it'll make um, blocks out of stuff, but 
For now, I'm just going to leave that there so it's out of my way. All right. One more here. And, oh, there you go. Perfect. That's what we needed. Jeez. All right. There we go. So the way this works is let's go ahead and do this like so. And we can make either aluminum brass. And aluminum brass is made, of course, by smelting. Oops. Is aluminum and copper. So I believe we have three aluminum. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, and one copper. Definitely. So that'll probably just make us eat just enough uh, aluminum brass to make what we need here. And in this context, what we can do actually is we can actually take this guy right here and actually we'll have enough. Ooh, interesting. We'll have to see how this goes. Actually, what we can do, uh, all we need to do is put an ingot in there and then we can make an ingot cast. That'll be easy enough. All right. Molten aluminum. And once that heats up, apparently aluminum's easier to heat up than copper, but oh well. All right. Come on. There we go. Eight. So we just need bang. There. So now we have a ingot cast, and we also need a pickaxe cast. What else do we need? Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Do we need any of these right now? Probably not. We're going to need one of these eventually, so we might as well do this now. Oops. Oops. I did it the wrong way. Ha 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 ha. Wah wah. Alright. Let's go ahead and do it this way. That always helps when you do it the correct way. Uh, more stone. That's funny because you can actually make these things out of anything you like. I just happen to use stone all the time. Oh, there it is. So let's do that and then make a cast of that. And what else do we need? We need... Uh, no, uh, well, eventually we'll need a sword. So let's take a look at what swords we have available to us. Uh, these are just the regular swords. We could make a broadsword a long sword or a rapier. I don't think it's going to make a big difference. I th what does this need? Uh, this needs what? Let's check our book here for a second. So, let's take a look. So, the broadsword is a defensive weapon. Nope. A special weapon than dancing sword play lets you get in and out of battle quickly. While the rapier's damage is low, it makes up with this with other abilities. You can take a small hop backwards. This will send you jumping forward. So we need a sword guard, tool rod, and a crossbar. So a crossbar. Actually, in this case, we probably don't even need to make a cast of that, uh, which is good for us, actually. All right. Uh, let's put a little bit of, what was it? Uh, two aluminum and one ferrous. I think you can do this in here. Let's, we're going to find out in a second. Two aluminum, one ferrous will make invar. Let's just see if that will actually work. Uh, two iron powder, one pulverized ferrous metal. It should work. I don't know why it wouldn't work, but we're going to find out here in a second. I think this will be the last thing we do because we're getting close to the to that time. All right. So rapier, we have that. We just need a cross guard so let's go ahead and is it a crossbar oh goodness this always happens to me yeah it is a crossbar okay so we make that and we can make that out of whatever we want yeah it does make invar I thought so and I think invar I'm not sure but I don't know let's go ahead and make a invar pickaxe Oh, so you can make invar, but you can't pour it. Okay, well, that's good to know at least. I thought you could. I don't know why you can't. That seems like something you should be able to do. All right, so I guess we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, so what we'll need to do is make that into ingots. 
and just take it out of there basically which is the idea so what I think we'll do is off camera I will make a pickaxe maybe because uh, what other options do we have available we could do iron we could do steel is what I really want to do because I like steel but that means we also need an induction smelter uh, which is going to take a uh, oh oh actually we just made that stuff bucket we have Invar, we just made some Invar copper gear. You could easily do that. Uh, that's iron and tin. And what else is there? We still need some redstone, so we can't do that yet. All right. So it looks like we need to find some redstone. So I'll have a look at that off camera. We'll come back and we'll work on that maybe next episode. I may or may not have an, an item made by then. We'll see what happens. All right, folks, my name is Ian Robson. This has been Minecraft. Direwolf 20 pack, and I'll catch you guys later.